First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikah Kadash, and the ones to those great mills on Wild Lunch's Truth, and also to those who lack that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of day lesson is scourges sent for amendment. So I like to say, Shalom, to all that is learn. Hope this will be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we started uh, today's lesson, let's uh, go to the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. It said, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord has not done it? So that about we knowing that the Lord is what is sending these what scourges. When you go into that word scourge, it means goes into what affliction, goes into what plagues, goes into what evil, goes into what misery, suffering. You know what I'm saying? Persecution, also great tribulation and what destruction. So that about it. So the Lord is calling these things to happen upon the earth, left and right. And about the Lord is what is fitting the earth that He created. Not about it, hey man. So we knowing that the Lord is bringing forth what them scourges, though what a, a judgment. Also, when you go into that word amendment, you know what that mean to you know to to reform your way or what to correct your way or to what change your way. Really, what to repent. And return to your what? True power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So hey, scourges are sent for a minute. You know what? To repent or what? To seek the Lord while he can be found. So in the news um, uh, today, I think around, I think it happened on Monday morning around 10, by, by 1030 or 1040 uh, in Jamaica, uh, Kings, Kingston, uh, Jamaica, they had a uh, five Point four uh, magnitude. That's what the report said that they had an earthquake in uh, Jamaica. They had one, uh, I think, a month earlier. So, you know, the Lord already said that earthquakes will be in diverse places. And also, there's rumors of uh, flooding. And also, they have uh, the, the island of Jamaica on a tsunami watch. So, a lot of things are happening. Also, uh, just happened, uh, I think it was Wednesday. A lot of these things, they're not reporting. Now, everybody, you know, these, these plagues are all around us. On every side, and I, a lot of people are still what uh, relaxing in their leaves, and I, about the Lord's constantly bringing forth these plagues. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, they're gonna get worse and worse, and also judgment is now at hand. So we seeing that uh, also in uh, Alcapoco, uh, Mexico, there was a uh, a um, a hurricane, and they said it was uh, I think it was a a fine a, a, a hurricane. I mean, a category five a hurricane that hit uh, Acapulco, you know, which in fact is a, uh, I think it's uh, a resort uh, 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 where, where tourists come and they, you know, go there to, uh, for vacation. And I about to say they tore, you know, so that place was, it, it was, it was ripped to pieces, you know, you know, had a lot of different uh, uh, high winds up to 165 miles uh, an hour, you know, also it's that flooding was there and a lot of destruction, you know, power outages, you know, that people were displaced, you know, people are uh, very, uh, 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 vaccination of spirit, you know, uh, distress, anguish, you know, so that goes into those, what, those scourges, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, they're going to be in what, great misery, you know what I'm saying, suffering, you know what I'm saying, so a lot of people are walking in great pride, so we see it, hey man, that hey, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be, uh, people uh, be not afraid, shall there Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord has not done it. The Lord is making it happen left and right. You know, so the Lord is visiting the earth that he created through what? Through uh, tempests, you know, through uh, storms, through hell, through earthquakes, through volcanic activity, different great sights and, you know, wonders that the Lord is constantly bringing forth because what the end is being manifested right before our scourges are sent for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Seek the Lord while he can be found. It's time to repent and return to your true power while he can be found. So we see it. These things are not even being reported, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so a lot of things, they, you know, that's why the Lord set up watchmen, you know what I'm saying? You know, to warn you, you know, of these appending dangers. Also, we know that uh, this World War Three war is constantly kicking off. This, you know, this Ezekiel chapter 38 war, you know, Israel, you know, you know, it's in all these other nations, they constantly bucking up Iran, you know, they telling America and Israel, you know, what will happen, you know what I'm saying? If they don't uh, have a ceasefire, you know, and, and also Israel still saying they're not, they're going to keep moving forward. So, 
we already know that these are Bible prophecies. You know, they're speaking loud and clear. You know, right now, you know, a lot of people still are not believing, still thinking that, hey, man, everything will go on as normal. You know, so, but that Lord already said that, that there will have a lot of people that, that's going to be scoffing and mocking. They are the tooth there. They're already dead, but they get ready to be what? Physically dead very soon. They get ready what? To feel the fire. So we know that these things are happening, you know, mass shootings, you know, so a lot of things, you know, order out of chaos. Also, you know, it's still rumors of what? A great economic collapse. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what happened November the 1st because brick, the brick uh, a currency will be online. So we already know that then the dollar is constantly what? Uh, 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 like circling the drain. So we also, we know that hell, markets is finished also. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, it is here. It's at the door. So, hey, man, we see any things that happen. You know what I'm saying? These scourges are sent for men. You know, these plagues. You know what I'm saying? These, uh, you know what I'm saying? These, these evils. You know, these things are constantly coming upon us. You know what I'm saying? Tribulation. You know what I'm saying? Persecution. A lot of things are coming. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, you know, are unaware. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come what without warning. In the middle of the Lord, we're constantly warning you left and right, whether you were here or whether you will forbear. So, hey, man, it is here. It is at the door. Hey, man. Scourges are sent for amendment. So when you go into that word amendment, it means to what? To change, to reform, uh, correction, meaning pretty much to what? To repent. You know what I'm saying? Get back on the path of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Before the Lord bring forth that judgment. You know what I'm saying? I bet, hey, man, we come to warn you. It is here. So we seeing that uh, things over there in the so-called ministry, which in fact, we know that's no such thing. But anyway, uh, we knowing that. Things are getting ready to intensify. Also, right here in our backyard, you know, we seeing uh, these goddamn it, uh, these uh, so-called camps. You know, they're constantly fighting with these uh, protesters. You know what I'm saying? I, and not about they're gonna try to lump lump us all together. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we got wicked Negroes. You know what I'm saying? You know that's in this truth. And not about the Lord's gonna purge out the rebels very soon. So you know, it's all these things. You know was you know it was uh, already the Lord already had uh, warned us about these things will happen. There will be uh, many false prophets shall arrive. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said in Matthew chapter uh, 24, He said, "Take heed that no man deceive you." So God, hey man, we're living here, man. We seeing it happening right before our eyes. You know, it's at the end it shall speak and not lie. Hey man, it is here. So let's read Amos chapter three and verse six once again. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid?" Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord has not done it. So the Lord's comes to bring it forth, you know, it's all sorts of great calamities and catastrophe, you know, around the world, a global event. Not only happened here in America, all around the world, flooding, earthquakes, a volcanic activity, you know what I'm saying? Tsunamis, you know what I'm saying? Hailstorm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 strong winds destroying a lot of things. The Lord is making it happen. You know what I'm saying? These, they, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things are happening. You know what I'm saying? Wars, you know what I'm saying? Are all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people are dying in a what? In a great number. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is making it happen. Can't you see? Are you hearing? And I about two third, they still a what? In, you know, a rocking and rolling, drinking and being merry. And I about, hey man, we're here, man. All hell is getting ready to break loose. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is scourges set for amendment. So I have a few short videos. And after the videos, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. Are you serious? I mean, people, come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, are we serious here? Are we serious? We better be, because I tell you, there's some crazy stuff going on right now. And now you got, okay, you got the war, Russia and Ukraine. You got the, you got the war, Israel and Hamas. You got all kinds of wars and rumors of wars. Uh, but then, don't forget, there's asteroids whizzing by. There's uh, earthquakes shaking Jamaica. There's Hurricane Otis, a cat. Category 5, slamming into Mexico. We got people dead everywhere. Shootings. Five mass shootings this weekend in America. Are you serious? It's getting worse. Right, guys, now, listen to this. The earthquakes are shaking. The hurricanes are breaking. And uh, the, 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 the apocalypse is upon us. It really, really is. And we have to prepare people for these events that are taking place right now. Now, let's let me tell you about it exactly. We just had a 5.4 earthquake that just shook Jamaica. It really shakes Jamaica. Uh, there's There's been some damage. We're not sure 
it's too early to report whether there are casualties or not. But we do know that Jamaica really was shaken by this very shallow, very shallow 5.4 magnitude earthquake, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, it prompted people to come running, fleeing out of buildings amid heavy shaking. Things falling everywhere, damages going on to buildings, power knocked out in some areas, uh, and, uh, of course, food, wine bottles, and all kinds of stuff tumbling off shelves in grocery stores, uh, people falling down because the ground is like this. So there are some uh, injuries. We just, you know, what does that all mean? Let's hope it's nothing serious. Let's hope that nobody lost their life in all of this. But it's, I'm, are you... Category 5 hurricane. Residents woke up on Wednesday to find that Hurricane Otis had torn roofs from buildings and submerged cars as a result of torrential floodwaters. Hurricane Otis brought winds that reached speeds of up to 165 miles per hour and heavy rain to Acapulco, registering as the strongest storm to ever make landfall along the North American Pacific coast. No deaths have been reported as of Wednesday afternoon. However, striking images revealed widespread destruction across the Guerrero State, a coastline territory marked by cartel activity. Earthquake in Jamaica. Five point to felt like a seven. Oh, Jesus. We thank the Lord for your mercy and your goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name. We knew it was coming, Lord. You told us what we didn't know, and we thank you for your mercies. So we are live here in uh, Spanish Town, whereby we just witnessed a magnitude of 5.2 earthquake. The epicenter was in Houston. Normally when you see earthquake, you know, it's normally starting the Caribbean Sea or some other country and it hits Jamaica. But this time, it started in Houston. So you know, so you gotta shake up the place, you know. Jamaica go on too bad from with him. But it's actually funny though. Many of us, the response that I saw from the people, many of us do not know how to respond. As it when, it, when an earthquake came, many persons were still standing. I guess they were in shock. They didn't know what to do. They didn't get the earthquake training. So it is imperative that we actually train our citizens how to respond in any event of an earthquake. So it was a magnitude five point two, but I'm telling you, the shaking was go on, go on, go on. really strong. As you can see, everybody is actually asked to evict the building, and then here we are. So that's the update for now. So by now, unless you have been caught up in the rapture, would have heard of the earthquake that hit Jamaica on Monday morning. Now, it took place approximately 10.57 a.m. And initial reports reported that it was about 5.6 magnitude. There have been varying reports since some saying 5.2, some saying 5.4. Nevertheless, it was hella strong. In fact, everybody has been reporting, including me, that this is the strongest earthquake we have ever experienced from Wibon. As expected, news of the earthquake has been hitting even the international airwaves. This is actually an article from ABC News. They were reporting it as a 5.4 magnitude. As I mentioned, the magnitude has been differing, but as we know, what still remains is that it has created pandemonium in Jamaica 
myself, I literally thought, guys, that the world was coming to an end. But Jamaica's Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, held a quick press conference this morning, shortly after the earthquake, speaking at the office of the Prime Minister here. Generally, they have meetings on a Monday, and he, along with other members of his cabinet, were there, and he mentioned at that quick update, noting that there were minor damages, no deaths reported, and appealing to all Jamaicans to remain calm and to be safe. Meanwhile, the island's largest electricity provider, the Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS, reported that several communities are without electricity as a result of this morning's quake. Guys, where were you when the earthquake occurred? How did you react? Were you calm? Or were you thinking that the world was coming to an end? And considering the fact that we had an earthquake just a month ago, are you expecting more to come? My name is Tamara. This is crazy. What? I see a great is Yo, wait a minute. No, sir, great. I see it. Come on. I know this one is for this. So we see that the Lord is constantly bringing forth, you know, these uh, these plagues, you know, all around the world, you know, warning before what? Uh, for destruction, you know what I'm saying? So we see it, you know, in the men of the Lord, they constantly, we warn you left and right. These things don't constantly pick up each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh You also, you heard that later, I think around the third video where she said, you know, called on Jesus, but we know him as Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, you know what I'm saying? We already know that over there in those islands, Jamaica, Haiti, uh, the, the Bahamas, you know what I'm saying? Over there in the Caribbean, we know that the tribe of what? Levi, I think, and Benjamin, and many other tribes. So we are scattered throughout the world. And out of so there's no escape in the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh If you are what? Uh, Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the whole world is going to be in trouble. You know, so out of the body, the Lord is uh it's calling all these things to happen. You know, it's right now, you know, it's time to repent. It's time to correct your way, time to mend your ways, and out of body, you know, and seek your true power. While he can't be found, because one, one thing about it is that, hey, man, we're very close, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, hey, things are picking up all around the world. So, you know, a lot of people was was unaware. A lot of people, you know, it came upon them, what, suddenly, you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden, relaxing, going on with their daily life. All of a sudden, that lady, she was sitting at her desk. First thing she did, she called on the Lord, even though she ignorantly called him Jesus Christ, but we... We know him, you know, as Yahweh Shah. We understand that we are a very spiritual people. As soon as uh, something happens, they're going to call on what? We're going to call on the what? On the Lord. And everybody knows. So, hey, she, hey, man, she was praying. And I, that's why you got to watch, pray, and be sober. And also, the Lord said in Proverbs chapter 1, I think around 27 or 28, he said, They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You know, when your fears come, you know what I'm saying? Desolation. You know what I'm saying? Like a whirlwind. You know what I'm saying? They shall seek me early. Hey, that's what happened. Oh, Jesus. But hey, Jesus will not save you. And when he's time to trouble, if you do not know the true names of the Heavenly Father, you will be in trouble. Yahweh, that, you know what I'm saying? The great king that sits on the throne, you know, which in fact, most high, uh, he, he is or he exists. And our Lord and Savior and our great deliverer, what? Yahweh Shah Hamas Yah. Not Yah, not Yahweh, not Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, that we're spiritual people. You know, we're going to call on the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know, have a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it is that, hey, man, we sin. You know what I'm saying? The scourges are sent for a mimic. So it's going to be more affliction, more what plagues, more what suffering, more what tribulation, more persecution is coming right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Scourge is sent for a mimic. The Lord is bringing it, bringing it forth. The Lord is what? Is visiting the earth that he created. So now, I start off the daily lesson in Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6 said, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, our armies, with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with storms and tempests 
and flames of devouring fire. So one thing about it, say, hey man, so the Lord is visiting the earth. He's calling these things to happen. So we already know what hurricane, earthquakes, volcanoes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tornadoes. You know, uh, flooding. Uh, also, it said tsunami watch. You know, a lot of things are constantly happening all around the world. Also, what death? You know what I'm saying? It's coming. You know what I'm saying? Mass shooting. You know, a lot of things are constantly happening. Rumors of wars. All these things are happening. What well, earthquakes are happening? What in diverse places? Hey, Amen. We're here. You know that, and also that going to that flame of that devouring fire. You know, uh, these fire that was. You know, these uh, uh fire that that was happening all around. Where still things are. A burn these forest fire, you know, whether they were engineered or manufactured, but we all know that it's all through the spirit of power. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, also the divine fire goes into these what IBCM missiles, also and judgment. So we see that we're here, so you know what I'm saying? Amen. The Lord's constantly bringing hailstorm, a lot of things are coming at a fast pace. So now let's go here to uh Matthew chapter uh 16. Another quick lesson through the spirit, uh, Matthew chapter 16. And verse um, verse 2, Matthew chapter 16, verse 2. And it reads, said, he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Verse 3, and in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and luring. O ye hypocrite, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times. And I so a lot of our people, you know, they can tell when it's getting ready a uh, storm that's coming, you know, will come upon us. You know, they can say, oh, it's cloudy, oh, it's getting windy. You know, we, we know we got a, a storm that's brewing, but I, but but they cannot tell the what the signs of the time. And the Lord already gave us a guideline. When you go to Matthew chapter 24, it'll tell you, you know what I'm saying, will be what? Rumors of war, earthquakes in diverse places. You know what I'm saying? Gonna be nation against nation. You know, all sorts of different, what, plagues and great uh, uh, distress and anguish. You know, things are coming upon us at a fast pace. And they're going to constantly pick up. Scourges are sent for amendment. So we see it. So a lot of people, you know, they're still thinking that we're not in the end time. But we're living it real time. So we constantly warn them left and right. And I, But they're not hearing. They're not seeing. They're still a what going on with what their daily lives. And I'm all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey. It happened, you know what I'm saying? Unawares, you know, they, they constantly what? Doing things that is displeasing to Yahweh. Baashim Yahweh chapter 2, that rebellious house that did not want to return. So, hey, man, so a lot of people, you know, can tell uh, when it's a storm and well. They can tell about a tornado, you know, but now it's getting becoming so, uh, coming upon us so at a fast pace, they can't even tell it. It's coming with what? Without warning. You know what I'm saying? That's coming from what? Yahweh by Hashem You know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord is hey, making it happen. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we see that the Lord is visiting the earth. And I'd buy, you know what I'm saying? Also, the eyes of the Most High. UFO sites are all across the world. You know what I'm saying? So, the Lord is beholding the good and the evil. Say, hey, man, it is here. It is at the door. We come to the Let's go here to uh, Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Uh, Luke chapter 21. And we'll start up at verse 9. <clears throat> and it reads, said, but when ye uh, shall hear of wars and commotion, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Verse 10, then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Verse 11, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights. And great signs shall there be from heaven. So we're seeing that right now. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing all these things that have commotion left and right, confusion, disorder. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing the people are uh, 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 coming, uh, uh, death. You know, it's, it's, it's coming what uh, many people are be taking in a great number. It's a lot. We're seeing that happen. You know, a mass shooting. We're seeing what these uh, different weather patterns. Also, we know that uh, we're coming upon this possible what dark winter. You know, we're seeing that it's happening right before our Also, we know in the uh, great economic collapse. We're seeing that the Ezekiel chapter 38 war is constantly lining up just like clockwork. And also, we're seeing that a lot of uh, wicked men are constantly rising up. We're seeing that they are pro, uh, uh, fighting, you know what I'm saying, these uh, so-called camps. And that, but we already know the true men of the Lord, we're not going to move like that. The Lord said, uh, 
be all uh, be harmless as dove, wise as serpent. And I'm about to see a lot of our people. You know, the Lord said, "You shall know them by their fruit." So we see, we seeing a lot of these things that happen. You know, say, "Take heed that no man deceive you." So you already know that they're gonna come. You know, say they're gonna lump us all together. And I'm about so we know we coming upon that time. You know, say great persecution, great death and destruction, the beginning of sorrow. So we seeing it. Nations rise against nations. The heathens are raising, raging. Well, a lot of things help. Fear for sights. You already just had one uh, eclipse a couple of weeks back. You know what it was? The ring of fire. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord's constantly showing things. You know, volcano. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're seeing volcanic activities all through the world. You know what I'm saying? Flooding, hailstorm, rain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, strong winds. You know, a lot of things are happening. You know, a lot of destruction. And it's going to keep picking up, you know what I'm saying, to the Lord return. You know what I'm saying? Scourges are sent for a minute. So now let's go here to uh, Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. We start there. Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. We start here. And it reads, said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Lord power, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord. So that by the eyes of the Lord goes into what the angels, and I also goes into the what the UFOs are, the what royal vehicles of the Most High. That's why the Lord. That's how the Lord is uh, 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 seeing everything on the earth. You know what I'm saying? To be holding the good and the evils. So you know. So so one thing about it, upon that sinful kingdom, what is that sinful king? America, Babylon the Great, and out of body say he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. You know what I'm saying? Out of body, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the the the, uh, the the two third will be totally destroyed, but the one third will be saved. You know what I'm saying? When you go to Jacob's trouble, uh, Jeremiah chapter thirty and verse seven. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But he said Jacob will be saved out of that is the one third, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that body, so the Lord. Eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. That's why you're seeing all these things are uh, happening. The Lord is constantly bringing forth all these great uh, uh, miseries upon the earth. These plagues, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're sent for a scourge for a minute, and they're not going to slack down for a moment. And out about we're seeing it happening right before our eyes. So, we, hey, man, the Lord is going to constantly bring it forth. You know what I'm saying? The judgment is now at hand. Verse 9, it said, For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is shifted uh, in a sleeve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, it said, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So that about so when you go into that word sword, once again, the judgment, you know, it's an out about. So you we have a lot of people right now, they have a strong loose. You know, they thinking that this evil shall not overtake them. All these scourges, all oh, this something, this always happens. thing. It will uh we will uh overcome this also. You know what I'm saying? The world gonna go on, you know, like it's been going on, you know, and we're not in that time right now. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna do a little rough pack. Hey man, you in for a rude wake. And I about and the one thing about the Lord is what is shifting the house of Israel. Least grain shall not fall upon the earth. And not about talking about the what? The elect. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that we, man, we're here. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is sending these scourges left and right. And, 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 and but one thing about it, our people love the what the house of mercy. They're smiling, having a great old time, laughing. You know what I'm saying? You know, and full of life. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to be here. Then you're happy to die here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's getting ready to happen. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they don't want to hear that. You know, they hate him that rebukes at the gate. But one thing about it, we don't give a damn. So now let's go here. Cause we're going to constantly do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the one that sent us. Let's go here to a uh, second, um, uh, secondary chapter 16. Second Ezra chapter 16, and we'll start up at verse 18. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 18. And it reads, said, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? These evils upon us every day. You know what I'm saying? It constantly what? Intensifies. So we're at the beginning of sorrow. We're at the what? The birth pain. We're seeing it happening left and right. And things are getting ready to intensify. Things are getting ready to heat up. You know what I'm saying? The it is getting ready to hit the fan. Amen. We constantly warn you. Amen. A great time of trouble that we have never seen before. Verse 19 said, said, Behold, famine, plagues, tribulation, and anguish are sent 
and scourge it for amendment. Now, it's time to mend your way. Seek your true power while he can be found. You know, it's time to repent. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people will not repent. You know what I'm saying? Constantly going to go on in the ways of this world. They love it here. They're getting ready to die here. We constantly warn them left and right. And out about, you know, but hey, one thing about it, they're getting ready to what? To feel the fire very soon. You know, hey, man, Americans get ready to be a lake of fire. Hey, man, whether you believe it or not, it's nothing you can do about what is getting ready to happen. They are Bible prophecy. You know, the Lord world will not return to him for. And I bet it shall come to pass. So we don't give a damn you to believe or not. You go with your daily life, do whatever you want to do in this in, in this fallen kingdom. Because it's getting ready to come to an end. The Lord is getting ready to bring it to a close and bring in that righteous kingdom. You know, that dwells in righteousness. That's the kingdom of heaven. Woo, we cannot wait. Verse 20, it said, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge, you know, of the what, of the what, the plagues, you know, of the, of the ill time, of the what, the suffering, you know, the tribulation, the what, the persecution, you know, they still, oh, hey, they still going on with their daily life, because what, we're going to read in the next uh, verse, hey, amen. They think that they're good. Everything is all good. Uh, verse 21 said, Behold, victuals uh, shall be good and cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evil grow upon the earth. Sore, famine, great confusion. You know what I'm saying? Verse 22 said, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger Shall the sword destroy? So we coming upon that time. That's why these scourges are sent. You know, Lord, hey, telling you right now, he's visiting the earth that he created. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Lord is hey, trying to get your attention. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people are not listening right now. The great fear of the Lord is getting ready to come upon this earth. The wrath of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Recompense and judgment in that day. They shall know that he is the Lord. So all the one that's walking in great pride, that do thy will spirit, constantly, you know what I'm saying, are lovers of themselves, covetous, you know what I'm saying? Constantly want to be, want to do wickedly each and every day. And I about hate the good and love to do evil, left and right. But that is about the Lord is getting ready to put an end to all of these things. That's why he's sending all these scourges, left and right. But they still think that there are a good case. But hey, man, you're in for a rude awakening. So now let's go here to uh, our last and final script. Let's go here to uh, Luke chapter uh, 21. We'll close out here. Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. Luke chapter 21 and verse uh, 34. And it reads, and take heed to yourself. Lest at any time your heart or your mind be overcharged with serpenting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that the day come upon you unaware without warning. That's what happened in what Jamaica That what happened in what uh, Al, uh, 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 Alcapoco, uh, Mexico. You know what I'm saying? They were relaxing in their leaves and all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Death and destruction came upon them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people cried out. You know what I'm saying? Lord Jesus. Hey, he won't save you in that day. Verse 35, he said, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. It's coming at a fast pace. Verse 36, he said, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh child. So one thing about it is that, you know, the Lord's going to constantly send these, uh, these scourges, you know what I'm saying? And I, but the Lord's going to constantly send these plagues. They're not going to slack down because we're very close to our salvation and also uh, for the, what, the great and glorious return of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai is fast approach. We knowing that what? Jacob's trouble is at the door. We knowing that Ezekiel chapter 38, war is coming. The Lord's getting ready to gather the nation in the valley of what? A, Je a Jehoshaphat. What? The, uh, the battle of what? Uh, Armageddon. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready to do the thing. You know what I'm saying? We knowing that the, uh, the, uh, the mark of the beast is here, that grain of rice. You know, we know that this digital society is coming. And out of battle. And once again, the great and glorious return of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it is fast approach. We're very excited. You know what I'm saying? Keep the faith. Keep believing. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Scourges Sent for Amendment. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I'd like to say Shalom, Shalom.